Good morning, everyone. I'm going to wait till some people jump on, but as we do, you can tell I'm working out right now, finishing up a cardio workout. I got two minutes and 30 seconds until I get cooled down. And uh, you can see, I have a guest, my beautiful wife. She's attending, wrapping up some cardio. So anyway, I don't want to take up too much time. I want to finish up my event or my workout. But as you guys, uh, as you get an opportunity to see, I'm huffing and puffing. It's I'm wrapping up my cardio session and one minute and 42 seconds or 32 seconds. So anyway, here's the deal. What shapes your decisions? Well, let's first start off with decisions. Look, your decisions shape your destiny. It's obvious, right? If you decide to eat that piece of cake, you're going to gain weight. If you don't, if you decide not to eat that cake, you're not going to gain weight, right? Simple decision. If you decide to take action in your business, do that next step, make that phone call, go knock those doors, you're going to have a lot better chance of improving your income than sitting on your ass, right? Plain and simple. Now, you know what decisions you need to make in your life. If you don't, I highly encourage you to get with a coach, find somebody that will help you, identify what those are so that you're able, excuse me, so that you're able to go out there and take the action, create an action plan to get moving. So, your decisions shape your destiny. So if you know what your end outcome is, you know what uh, decisions you gotta, or actions you gotta take, it comes back down to, are you gonna make the decision to move on it or not? Sounds simple, but it's huge because a lot of people don't take the action that they need to. So what makes us shape our decisions? What are those components that actually stop us from taking action, not taking action, putting the cake in our mouth, not putting the cake in our mouth, going up and talking to that beautiful woman, or not talking to that beautiful woman, or man, if you're female watching this. And it comes down to two things. Pleasure and pain. Your decisions come down to what do you associate? Do you associate uh, pleasure or do you associate pain? See, the ones that are successful, the ones that get what they want, is they have great associations. They associate going and creating or taking those action steps in their business means more money, more clients, more satisfaction, more opportunities, more experiences. When you don't take those actions, you're associating pain, pain that you're going to get rejected, pain that you're not going to be able to close the deal, pain that you might not be good enough, right? When it comes down to eating cake or desserts or whatever that might be, it comes down to, is this cake going to make me feel good and it's yummy, it's delicious, or does it, do you associate pain? Hey, I'm going to get fat, I'm going to look nasty, I'm not going to be able to attract the partner of my life, the love of my life. It comes down to you, what do you associate to those action steps, to those decisions that you make. So here's what I would encourage you to do. I don't want to be too long on this video. As actually, I got to slow down. Whew. All right, cool down time. You guys got me going over by two minutes, which isn't bad. More calories. I had cookies yesterday. My mother-in-law rocked them. They're amazing. From her aunt, her, from her sister, Aunt Lola. Give her this awesome recipe. Anyway, <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. I like you identify what actions, what decisions do you need to make today for your business, for your health, for your relationships, whatever that is, go ahead and write down what are those action steps that you need to take? What are the decisions that you need to make? Then I want you to look at how do I feel about that? What's the association, emotional association that you have to it? Do you have pain associated? Some people have pain to working out. That's why they don't come to the gym, right? Or do you have pleasure? You have this pleasure, the psychology that, you know what, I'm going to be, by going to the gym, by not eating that cake, I'm going to be sexy, shredded, and strong. What is it for you? Let's write down what are your associations. And if we know what those associations are, we can easily identify what your future is going to look like. Are you going to be able to get your finances the way you want it, the relationship, your body the way you want it? If not, or let's, let's pause here. Go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, if you've got to pause this, go ahead and pause it. If you're watching live, you've got to rush with me. Write down the, the actions I tell you, and then you can come back. Now, if you want to make a change, Joe, I don't know 
how do I make this change? What if, you know, I have these negative associations. I have these associations of pain in my life. How do I change them? It's very simple. What we want to do is we want to link more pain to not having those things than to having them. So what do I mean by that? So if we think about how delicious this cake is, we have a pleasure association. What we want to do is we want to start to create all the pain. What's that? By eating that cake, what's it going to do? Is it going to lose your six-pack? Is it going to put weight on you? Are you going to be fat and nasty? I hate using the F word, um, <clears throat> so I won't say it again. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you might have a heart attack, which means you, would lose your, you wouldn't be around for your children. And now your daughter has to walk down the aisle without you, alone. Maybe she gets another guy, another dad to walk her down the aisle. Is that what you want? Or maybe it's around your finances. Maybe you enjoy you know, being comfortable watching your television shows, although you know you need to build your business. Well, let's look at what's the pain associated to that. What is it that if you sit on the couch, what's that gonna cause you? You're gonna be broke? You're gonna watch your children sit there and cry when all their other friends get brand new bikes during Christmas. Or maybe it's they're going to a great college. And your child has to go in debt just to go to a community college and get a little, a small education, not as abundant as maybe their, your neighbor who is going to Stanford or Yale, all because of finances, not because your kid's not smart enough. And so we want to create that association. And then once you've got that pain associated, and this is where I would highly encourage getting with a coach and working through this and really feeling that pain, I would say, okay, what's the pleasure? What is it that if you do take this action, what will you get? Who will you become as a result of that? You know, I, I have so many clients that are like, <clears throat> I don't care. I just want to have success. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. And they're completely unhappy. There's pain associated the whole way. And they just want the money. And I'll tell you, you know, the money, getting married, having kids, that's not the end goal. Because once you have it, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, is this it? It's gonna be a temporary high, think about it. When you get in a relationship with a new, a new partner, you're just like, oh my God, it's amazing. And after time, that honeymoon stuff wears off. Well, same thing with your end goal, because your end goal is not gonna fulfill you. What you're looking for is fulfillment. What's going to satisfy you? And it's only, the only thing that's going to satisfy you is the growth, the progress that you're making. That's why I have clients, and I fell into this trap many times too, is I have clients that, hey, I got, a lot of, I got what I want, I know what I want, and then all of a sudden, they just, they're like, hey, I'm good. I don't want to move forward anymore. I, I want to stay comfortable with where I'm at. And I, in a way, I understand, but at the same point, I, the coach in me, knows that if they stop, if they don't continue on going to that next level, they're not going to be fulfilled because progress equals fulfillment. And so if you're not making progress and you're just sitting back, I'm telling you, one day you're going to have all your goals, you're going to have everything you want, but you're not going to be fulfilled uh, and that, that fulfillment won't be sustainable, should I say. You'll be fulfilled in the moment for the next day, week, couple weeks, maybe even a couple months. You might be fulfilled. But after that, it takes a while to get back. This girl's taking a selfie over here of a Facebook Live as I'm in the middle. Good pattern interrupt. So anyway, <clears throat> what, is it that, what decisions do you need to make towards your goals? Go ahead and create the associations, the pain, all the pain of not doing, taking that action, of not doing what you need to do. And what's all the pleasure that you would get by taking those actions? Remember, your decisions are shaped by pain and pleasure, the associations that you have. So if we're going to change them, we need to link massive pain to not doing it and massive pleasure to doing it. Once you start conditioning that, once you start wiring that into yourself, all of a sudden the game changes. You start, take, you start having different thoughts. Well, these thoughts that you're having will change your emotional state. You'll take different actions, and therefore you will get different results. So... I encourage you guys to write down everything I said. If you missed this video, go back, check it out. This is an incredible video. I encourage you to share this video if you know someone that needs this. If you, need, if you have something that you're linking massive pain to, go ahead and comment below. What is it? What's the decision you need to make? And then if you need some help, reach out. Put it in the chat box. I'll help you with it. If you're looking to work one-on-one, that's a completely different story. Go to uh, Master Life by Design. 
com backslash service and then go into uh, the coaching and just fill that out and I will get back to you as soon as possible. We've been getting a lot of people and we're also going to be coming out with um, holiday coaching specials as Christina and I are really ramping up uh, at, towards the end of the year here. A lot of great things coming with Master Life by Design. I'm excited for you guys that are tuning in, be part of the family and uh, you know, seeing what's to come of that. So anyway, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Remember, there's, there's something on your heart. God gave it to you. The universe gave it to you. That's important for you to go out there and accomplish. But your decisions, the associations that you have are stopping you from fulfilling everything that you were supposed to be and everything you were supposed to achieve in this life. Let's get you back on track. Let's find out how do we take that and switch it so that you're able to go out there and live your dreams, to live the life that you deserve, the life that you want, that you dream about. It's time to have it. It's time to take it back. You can do it. You're not a bad person. You're just running a, a different strategy. We help you change the strategy that you're running, pain and pleasure in your life. All of a sudden, everything that you want can be yours as long as you back it up by massive action. So you're incredible. It's a beautiful Monday. Wherever you are, whatever part of the world you're in, give thanks that you're alive. Give thanks that you have the ability to breathe and take actions and control your mind and make those decisions and change those associations. I will tell you, it's absolutely worth it. There's a lot of things that I can share with you about my personal life, how the associations that I switched that led me down a different road. And that road, even though it was narrow, it was abundant. And it's just, I will share one of those paths the sitting right there. So anyway, I love you all. Go out, make today count. Joe Moffitt and Christina Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Enjoy your day. Kick ass, everyone. See ya.